like there's just scams and scammers everywhere these days. We have Samantha Gillahan from the Better Business Bureau here. Tell us about a new scam I hadn't really heard of before. You know, and I hadn't heard of this either. And a woman got a call saying, hey, you missed jury duty and now there's a warrant out for your arrest. And if you don't pay us the money right now through wire transfer, we are going to come arrest you. And the reason why it worked so well on her is she really had been called to jury duty. Wow. And the judge during the jury duty selection had said, you know, people don't show up. I'm going to start putting out warrants for their arrest for these people that aren't coming. Um, she was dismissed and went home but thought maybe this was some kind of oversight. Maybe she wasn't really dismissed and, and missed out on something. And so yeah. it was kind of the perfect storm for her to, to fall for this scam. And she wound up losing about $2,000 overall. That is so scary. And it kind of scares me that they kind of know this information. Exactly. You know, they can find out probably when you're getting called your duty and all these things and then exactly there's so much public record so when she got this call they used a real officer's name they knew things about her they knew the weather in the area that she was at because they mentioned that it was snowing and so it was really very believable for her but the point where it's kind of started to fall apart was when they asked her to wire money um, okay yeah so the courthouse anything like that they're not going to ask you to wire money they would want you to pay your fees and fines the traditional way debit card cash check things like that and then of course they needed her to wire that money to Chicago, which again was another red flag. And of course, yeah. she was in a panic, and I would have been too. But oh, yeah. those are the things that you kind of stop and say, okay, let me take your information and then actually call back the county or city mm -hmm. offices through the numbers that you find online or that you already have just yeah. to make sure. Um, and we tell people, hey, the police aren't going to call and tell you you have a warrant. They're just going to come arrest you. So if you get a call saying there's a warrant out for your arrest, again, get their information if they're willing yeah. to provide it, hang up and then call into a number that you know mm -hmm. to verify that what they're saying is correct. Just to be careful. So be careful with the wiring money and actually maybe meet in person, not talk over the phone with people exactly. to figure it out. Yeah. If yeah. you think that there's some kind of legal trouble that you're in, actually go to the courthouse and ask some questions, get some information. That is very good advice. Thank you, Samantha. <laughs> Thank you. Celticon this morning. We take a look here at KPVI News Today Headlines.